Okay, today I got our Bighorn gas powered golf cart here. I've been riding this thing for a few months. I go to the racetrack and sell race helmets. Man, this thing comes in handy. You're going to love it. There's so many different things that you could do with this machine. It's a dependable machine. They come standard, the gas powered ones do, with a one year part and a labor warranty. You got lots of room in it. You got the bench seat in the front, you got seat belts. And then you got the bench seat in the rear of the machine too as well with seat belts. That's pretty neat. You don't have that on golf carts. This seat here folds down and uh, you got a little bit of a bed. A mechanic buddy of mine showed me a little trick too. Now it scratches the handle. Well, I don't think they designed it to, to do this. But you can also put it in that position there. And uh, you got more of a bed where stuff don't slide out. I really like that. Another neat part about this back part is... is uh, you got two pins up underneath and uh, one down there to receiver hitch. You can take that thing loose, pull it off, and you can put a bed on the back of it, actually. If you want a metal bed on the back, comes in handy and neat, I guess. If you want to buy both, you can. The large size tires and wheels on this machine. You got 24 8x12s is what they are. Four-wheel disc brakes. If you compare that to the golf cart, uh, you'll see you're just getting a whole lot more in this machine than uh, you are a regular golf cart. We also got these in electric, too, if uh, your campground or whatever requires electric. Kind of hard to see, too, but uh, I'll try to show you. Yeah, there you go. We got rear independent suspension on this thing, dual A-arms, coilover shocks that are adjustable, and you got an any roll sway bar right there and that thing comes in handy when you get a bunch of big boys on here the other week down at charlotte we had a whole bunch of people on the back and we big old country fellas and we rode around and that right there is the uh, locking and unlocking transmission this thing is a cvt belt drive comes into the transmission and uh, when you're on the gas both rear wheels lock solid and when you're off the gas they actually come unlocked and you can see that right there is the receiver hitch this thing goes into. If you want to take this off and pull the trailer around, you pretty well can and put your bed on it, or you can do it without. Everything's easy to get to on this machine. It's pretty well maintenance-free. Right there is where you put gas in it. Another thing about it is it's real easy on gas. I love that. Right here, you got a park brake. You got to uh, actually pull it down. The brake ain't on right now. And mash the button and release it. Push it forward to release it. To crank the machine, uh, all you do is turn switch on. Right there is the uh, neutral light. Mash the brake. It's actually got an electric choke. Uh, just let it set and warm up for a few minutes. Then you're good to go. Uh, you got your headlights here. I'm going to turn them on where you can see the digital dash. Tells how much fuel's in it. Battery's good. Tells how many miles is on it. Mile per hour. And you got a tack right there. Right there is where you turn your lights on, high beam, low beam. You got a horn. A little Chinese man horn there. Left and right turn signals. Right there is a little bit of a storage compartment. And um, right there is a park brake light. When you put the park brake on, you gonna light up. Take it off, it goes off. You also got storage right there as well. And um, Another neat thing about this thing is I ride it to dirt track a lot. It's uh, easy to uh, wash and wash out. No problems there. This seat here pops up. And um, that's the engine underneath the seat there. And this is the gas tank on this side. I think it's about five gallons. I'm not real sure. And then you got a storage compartment over there. Which comes in real handy. I guess if you want to carry something. A lot of people turn that into a cooler too. Real cool I did. And... Um, you can also get a windshield for this thing. Right here is where your side mirrors bolt. Um, that's an option. You put your turn signals there in the front bumper. That's another option. Comes with a winch plate on the front too. Um, golf carts don't come with that, but this in here does. It's a little nasty, but if you want to put a winch on this thing, you can put a winch on it. You got the McPherson strut type suspension in the front. You wouldn't believe the way this thing rides, and you wouldn't believe the way that it rides with a heavy load on it. <clears throat> Me and old buddy of mine down at Myrtle Beach this past week, we two big old country boys, we was on this thing, and uh, I, I know about 550, probably about 600 pounds. 
we figured out about the fastest we could get this thing to run was about 27 mile an hour with us on it and uh, we've been up and down hills with uh, five people on it actually you got a headrest there it comes with a rugged top i go up and down all the time up and down the road all the time with this top on it and i don't seem to have no problem make sure to call dixie fence too if you ever need a fence this here's our old race shop in here dad done turned it into a daggone fence shop but things happen sometimes over there's where all the gates are built but anyway, if you want you a good machine to ride around, this right here is going to be the machine for you. It's kind of like a light duty type machine. Nothing wrong with that. I love it. I got bad feet and it sure does save me a whole bunch of steps. You've seen it here first, your big horn gas powered golf cart. And uh, if you compare the price to this, to everything else, this is something that's going to last you a long, long time if you take care of it. You also got drink holders on both sides. They come in real handy, too. A lot of people don't notice that till the end. I don't either. But God bless you, and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Give us a call. We're also looking for dealers. And like I said, we got these in electric, too. They come with a smaller tire and wheel. The electric version of this is 60 volt. 5,000 watt if you compare that to everything else you're just getting so much more the electric comes with a two-year warranty parts and labor and um, they have a lot more torque a lot more power um, a longer range in the electric too they can go about 40 miles per charge they got a gel type battery in them instead of a lead acid type battery on the electric it's going to cost you a little bit more but um, if you're looking for electric you ain't going to beat this thing if you compare it to a, golf, a regular, any other type of um, golf cart, you're going to see that um, this is the best thing out there on the market that you can buy right now in gas and electric. Uh, people at um, Lenhai Yamaha actually designed and built these things. They spent years and years and years in product development. If you race, make sure you check out uh, Champion Helmets there and get you one of them Champion Helmets. But uh, thank you for taking time to watch this.